I'm gonna sweep this just in case. No, oh, it's not going anywhere. Never know. Just didn't bump it far enough. Let's go, let's go fast, guys. He just curls Sorry, man, I so curl, much. Huh? I mean, it's got through again. But his last one in the first, he drew against four. Yeah. Now he's looking oh, at a double oh. to possibly get two here in the third. Oh! Off a of one, get that one. No. Had to get dinner. A steal of one for Switzerland here in three. And Herleman might feel fortunate because he didn't like his last stone and where the stones ended up. The Swiss have the lead 2 1. And then this was the shot to give Scotland three. And what a great job in the third by Ewan McDonald. Peter Lout and then Warwick Smith, all three of them out against the U.S. to Tim Somerville. Dragging it for all it was worth. And they got it there for three. Scotland's leading. We'll check in when we come back. Well, hello there and welcome back to TSN Tonight. I'm Lisa Bose. The Montreal Expos in action tonight looking to follow up their win over the New York Mets in yesterday's home opener. The Expos have won nine of their last 13 meetings against this club. How would they do with Mike Thurman on the hill, his first start of the year for Thurman Montreal? Well, deep. as we find out, it was a rough start. Walks the first three batters and then with two on, Mike Piazza absolutely crushes that pitch to left center. Mets lead it 3 nothing. Bottom of the second, 4 nothing. Mets. One on for Mike Barrett and he puts a little charge into this one. Two run shot to center. That cuts the lead to 4-2 right now in the top of the fourth inning. Elsewhere, the Blue Jays opening a weekend set at Camden Yards and the Jays and the Orioles, well, they're in a rain delay right now in the NHL. Panthers and Sabres. Panthers leading the Sabres by a score of one to nothing. Red Wings and Blues are scoreless in the first. We are back to curling right after this short timeout. For young people today, fitting in is not just lifestyle. It's setting goals and working towards them. CIBC's Youth Vision supports initiatives that directly benefit Canadian youth. Working with great Canadians like Wayne Gretzky to fight illiteracy and encourage kids to stay in school and set realistic goals. If you'd like to play a role with our partner organizations and help youth realize their dreams, call 1-877-YOUTH-99. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. Seeing beyond. Stoico gives his all. No holds barred. Nothing held back. Just full out with everything he's got. Like McCain Frozen Punch goes full out with thirst quenching flavors like grape, orange, and fruit punch. McCain Frozen Punch delivers the real fruit taste of real fruit juice every time for champions like Elvis. When you want it all, go for the real taste of McCain Frozen Punch. McCain, full out taste every time. Station men's semi-final Friday night here at these Ford Worlds. Scotland scored three in the third. The U.S. with the hammer here in the fourth. Final stone for Scotland Whoa. and Hammy McMillan. Whoa! 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 Right off! Right off! Whoa. Right off! Sits there and is lying one, two, three, possibly. The 
It's interesting how Scotland has played this game. They've used both of their weapons, the big weight shot, but then we saw in the big three that they got a combination of quiet shots and the hits. Is he drawing here? Is he playing the hit on that stone? I think he's hitting it. Yeah, he's hitting it. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho, right off. Right off. Tim Somerville. Yeah, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Looking for the double, and Don Barkham is going to call for the stick to see if it's in. Just to make sure it's a true ring, but it sure looks like it from this angle. As soon as we know, we'll let you know as we pick up play now in the fourth after the steal of one. Switzerland leading two to one. Canada with the hammer. Good, good. Let's go, Gary. Go off, Simnick it off. Well, Kormagard tried by Dougie Armstrong earlier in this end, slipped into the rings. And that's how the Swiss got line two here. It's little things, isn't it, Ray? Uh, Doug Armstrong normally so steady with those front stones, and you bring one in, and now the whole type of end has changed. And three nothing is now yep. four nothing for Scotland. It was a steal yep. of one for the Scots, and the Americans will have the hammer again in five. Gary Vandenberg. Yep. Those well, the first two stones that set up the end, and. Uh, Dougie just slipped into the ring, so that Jeff changed his yep. uh, pattern here now. He'll try yep. and freeze to the face. Whoa, 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 you're right. With the whoa. stone. Good, Kurt. Okay. Not there, though. Oh, it's a schön hard, though. Oh, it's a nice man. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Martin Romain. Yeah. Oh, probably just tap it back. <laughs> Not the numbers we're used to seeing for this team, and Doug Armstrong in this end has made an error. And his numbers will come down a little bit. Pretty good. Whoa. Mine's good, yep. Whoa. Wait only. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. 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 Just wants to tap it back a wee bit. Good, good shot. Good. Good shot, Gary. Okay. I thought Patrick Herleman would have to play well, and we're he is 92 percent for the Swiss skip. Needs a little more support at third position, though. You're not always going to have that opening, are you? If your third doesn't set it up for That's you. That's right. This is Dominic Andres. Okay. Well, no words are needed. <laughs> Little adrenaline flow there, I think, Linda. He really fired that, didn't he? A rush of blood to the head. Yes. Tap back a little bit. As my friend Graham Leggett would say. It's fine, just strictly line. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. Good. 
Good. Good. Well, that is a great shot. He's got it just glued. Good call. Interesting call, Linda. What else could he have done then? Well, there was a couple of things. I mean, you could have uh, long. Uh, split Big the rings long. a little bit. You got to remember, Jeff does have that last rock and forced him to play the second shot, the second shot each time, or gamble. Oh, he nearly got the corner yeah. and maybe picked it off the face. Who shot, Gary? Who shot there? Huh? Uh, I think they are. Just a reminder, live coverage of qualifying for the Brazilian Grand Prix from Interlagos. Saturday at noon Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. Jerry Donaldson will join me. For live coverage of qualifying, the second stop from the Formula One season. Will the new arrow be out? Is it, is it a few uh, races yeah. away, or no, not yet. Well, not yeah. for a while. Whoa. Then they run without logos for a while yeah. here. Eh? Whoa. 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 It's not big enough. Roll it right over here. And they'll tap it back. <laughs> They're all fighting reliability right now. Not quite sure. They spend no, hundreds of millions of dollars in their. They can't last a race. That's what I was saying about uh, where that shot is now, thick, as opposed to where you know Gary had, uh, where, where Jeff had played uh, down before and tapped back. He could have played to the open side of the rings and then forced. Uh, Tried to force uh, oh. Switzerland to play that for a while, then play the shot rock back. Okay. Every long look at this one, they would like to be able to play perhaps the double. They want to be careful they don't jam on the redstone just outside the house. It's the one here Linda's talking about. You have to be careful. One and across, he got him both. He's playing very well. Had to control them hard, we know that. <laughs> Lined up the angle very well, too. Knew exactly where they wanted to hit it. He jammed it, but not full enough. The Canadians liking, so Jeff will just uh, play the double here and try and get the blank out. This is the sixth meeting between Switzerland and Canada in semi final play, and the Swiss in the previous five have won three. People like Otto Daniele, York Tanner, and Peter Attinger. The Canadian wins came behind yep. Don yep. Duguid in 71 and Pat Ryan in 1988. Oh. Good job. They're trading doubles here in the fourth. 2 1 Switzerland leading. Shut. Shut. Ball. 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 Long. Long. Ball. Heavy, he says. Maybe still a little fired up from that big weight double that he threw. The two 
This is the one that you'd rather miss, of course. Okay. First one got you out of big trouble. <laughs> hey? Yeah. He did. He threw it through on purpose? <laughs> I don't think so. So a free one for Stoughton and Canada here in the, the fourth. A bit less. So they'll blank here in four. Switzerland getting out of trouble on a good double by Herleman, and then Stoughton responded with a double of his own. It remains 2-1 Switzerland here on a semifinal Friday night. We were on vacation in New Orleans. Great city, but I got this heartburn. A woman in our tour group said, here, try Zantec 75. Oh, thank you, I said. You're a saint. She said, no, actually, I'm a doctor. Only Zantac 75 controls stomach acid for up to 12 hours with a single dose. Just one reason its medicine is the number one prescribed acid controller worldwide. Maybe a doctor and a saint. Zantac 75, all day or all night acid control. thought when my son moved away that I wouldn't see him for three years. It's just a tractor for my grandson. But this trip I wasn't gonna miss. He's sleeping. This is for when he's older. My son had built his own life. Hey, Dad. He got a John Deere. Of course. But he still appreciates where he came from. The LT-133 from John Deere. Dollar for dollar, it's possibly the finest lawn tractor ever built. And it's the only one with a past as bright as its future. or on the road, top quality replacement parts are a must, which is why I recommend the full range of UAP Napa parts. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. Rod Smith and Darren Detition serve up the latest sports news and information on Sports Desk. For the best seats in the house, keep it on the desk with Detition and Smith, Canada's favorite team. Weeknights on TSN. Our final night in St. John, we thank the city again for being a wonderful host. For these Ford Worlds, and earlier today, the women's semifinal, Patty Lang from the U.S. Win 7-6 over Doherty Nordby from Norway, and Elizabeth Gustafsson, boy, she had to scratch it out against Denmark, and then a bit strip. And so it is Sweden against the U.S. for the gold medal, while Norway and Denmark will play for bronze. Take a look. And those games are tomorrow. Leave it up. 4 nothing. Scotland leading after okay. the steal of one in the fourth. And it's the U.S. lying one. Four-foot T-line. And this is Hammy McMillan's last rock of this fifth end. In his first one, he made a double. And nice he is playing there. very well. That's right, Linda Warwick. Smith hit a uh, front rock on the nose, and the Americans went right around it perfectly. They peeled off with Warwick's uh, oh. Smith's uh, oh. first shot. They oh. peeled the guard off again. Oh. Hammy made the double. Yeah, 
He can't hold the shooter, so this will be a throw through for the U.S. for a moment that he might have to to draw but there's nothing biting and so they'll blank this fifth then go to the break Scotland is up for nothing two to one Switzerland leading Canada Perlman ahead of Stoughton as we pick up play here in five. And Canada with the hammer. Patrick just heard of calling down to the team that uh, he wasn't really sure what they wanted him to do. They've decided to peel off the corner guard. Switzerland has shot Rock into four foot and a guard on it. The Canadian stone is top 12 in front of it. Okay. Oh, it's the best guy, this is so wichtig. Gary Vandenberg trying to corner Mind the shot kid. stone. Yep. Now their numbers like 14 8 would have been what? That's hog to hog for the draws. Does that relate to what your numbers were before? We said about 14 and a half. It's way out there and short. They want to bring it as far as they can to get it to cover the hole. I would think so. Yeah. No, just draw right here. A hair, I'd say. Should I throw a little bit more was the question. Gary Vandenberg. It's more duck. Yep. Hard. 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 Jonathan whoa, whoa, Mead. Whoa, whoa. Armstrong. Caught it by. Nice oh. brush. Very nice. Good. That is a great shot. Well, Doug Armstrong got caught with the uh, with nice. that turn and throwing the weight that he thought was right, and uh, he came up a little short, you know. And then that's what you had said earlier. That swinging turn is going to take a, just a little fraction more weight on the draws, I, and I I agree with you. <laughs> Canada's rocks are in such a great position they can be moved up onto that shot stone. And for Andres who has struggled a chance to help his side here if he can guard the angle raise. Okay. 
Met de afslag. Did he do the job, Linda? He's, right. got, he's got it covered, yeah. Yeah. Or he could run it straight back and try and catch the corner of the yellow. Do that. Play bumper. Play this. Yeah, nose. Yeah, bumper. Okay. You don't like more, eh? Well, no, because if you hit run into no, the yellow, I know what. I know. No, if you nose it, I don't want to lose it. Jonathan Mead. Oh! 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 Armstrong, Vandenberg. Oh! Oh! Run it back, catch it. No. Before the game started, I mentioned there was a big difference in plus minus at the skip position. Canada with the edge. They also have that edge at lead and third position. Very close at second. Both That's seconds playing pretty well goal. through round robin yeah, play. Overall, ball, Canada team wise has a plus three edge. Well, I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the Du wirst eine Gag machen. Play a guard. The team said they didn't think that red rays would get them anything. Das ist fast 14 halb Goli, ha? Ja. There you go. There's your number, 14 and a half. Gut, Lenge. The dolly they refer to. That's the button. That's the turn you use in Switzerland. No, we have a top line, you know. Good. Switzerland is line one. Yeah, you should be able to, eh? But second, third, here. fourth shots belong to Canada. Oh, probably might bump this one. We could get lucky though too. Yeah, we could get lucky. Hit it this way. Time to move some, some of the guards. See, so they heard them say, see if we get lucky the way they come back. We're trying to get these rocks off of there, get them something moving. They've got the three rocks in the rings, the Swiss have the one, so. Hard! Hard! There's one, there's two. Good. Very nice shot. It's all yellow in front now. Yes, right? sir. Well done. That is a wonderful shot, Linda. You couldn't ask for more Little thinner, better right? results. Just not missed. bad, it's all yellow now. They just missed touching that yellow and over. Yeah, just missed it. They wanted to try and touch the Yellowstone top well, 12, but that was the thing they said they might get lucky with that. But when you get rid of all three red, it's a pretty good looking situation. Patrick's got to come right in now because he can't afford to, you can't protect everything out in front now all of a sudden. So where would he go? Just top eight? He's going right in the freeze of the face of the uh, third shot rock.
Skip Stones here in five, and Switzerland's Patrick Hurleman. Wow! 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 It's so? Right now? Yeah, Might just, just touch it, eh? I think it gets a good piece of it. I think so? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we see that We there. saw it. Well, that was over curl, so three quarter, eh? Yeah. Well, they really just lost that on the sweep, and it was uh, going to come hard. Just tick the front one. You see the shot being played here. You're going to try and hit this one, come across the face, onto this one here, which will remove that one, like that. And this red one, they hope, will go this way. Jeff Stoughton in his first. Right out of his hand, Armstrong, Vandenberg, driving it back. Shot stone is Canadian, second shot is Swiss. But it's 3-1 yellow in the house right now. He actually touched the top one though, Linda. He could have got better if he gets by it clean. You'll, you'll see here see here what happens. He just touches the top yellow one right there, then catches the red onto yellow. So if he gets by clean, he would have been lying three without any red rock in the ring. So controlled. Going after the Yellowstone top 12 hit and roll here for Patrick Herleman. Very nice. <laughs> My Herleman has been on fire. Full eight for two. Obi, is he coming to see Huh? Yeah? Patrick Herleman in the Swiss. Tiebreaker last night, early this morning, and they have still got it going. Leading 2 1 now as Stoughton throws his last. Ford World Curling Championships from St. John, New Brunswick are brought to you by 
the Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. Star Choice, more choices than ever. And Labatt, good things brewing. At Ford, we're working on a new fuel cell with Canada's Ballard Power Systems. It uses hydrogen to make electricity. One day, it could power your vehicle. The exhaust would be nothing but clean, hot water. Go from Saskatoon to the coast, and you'd have enough water to take a bath. While others dream, we drive forward, never slowing, never stopping. Since February 24th, Tim Horton's customers in the St. John and Sussex area of New Brunswick have had an opportunity to enter a contest for a trip for two to Glasgow and the 2000 Ford World Curling Championships. Sweep the house and win. The grand prize included airfare for two, nine nights bed and breakfast, two all-event gold tickets to the 2000 Ford Worlds. Two grand prizes were up for grabs, and we're happy to announce the winners are from Sussex, Peter Flan, and from St. John, Betty Hammond. Congratulations. Now, we hope that you enjoy the Ford 2000 World Curling Championships, courtesy of Tim Hortons. We've played five in this semifinal. Switzerland and Canada with the Canadians up 3-2. And let's join Linda and Ray. Well, we've said 100 times, I'm sure, this year, or more than 100 <laughs> times, that it's always the little things, Linda, that make the difference in, in, in curling and winning. And, for example, you see Jeff Stoughton in the, his first shot in this last end, the fifth end. It's a very good shot, and it helped him set up the deuce. But if he gets it by, the front rock cleanly and it's so close and that was his comment after he made the shot boy we were so close you can see it just touches the front stone if he gets it by clean they'd be lying three and set up the possibility of scoring three but you know that's the kind of shot that he plays so well but I've really been impressed with Patrick Herleman well, Patrick Herleman is playing like an Olympic gold medalist, which he is, but his team are not. And talk about the little things. It was Patrick Herleman's draw, the corner freeze attempt that they didn't sweep properly that also got them into a bit of trouble. So it's not just him. 
just throwing and them throwing. It's every little thing, and they're going to have to pick it up if they want to beat Canada. And on the other sheet, uh, the Scots, <laughs> they look pretty hot. And it's interesting to remember back that it was Hamming McMillan in 1996 that Jeff Stoughton beat in the final. Hamming was there with a different team altogether, but it's uh, and Jeff Stoughton has a long way to go. Looks like Hamming's got the one foot up already. He sure does, Ray, and right now as they play in six, it looks like Hammy could put both feet up here because he's lying three. Even if, even if I'm short. He doesn't have the hammer against the U.S. and up four nothing. He's got two behind cover. One sitting back eight Thank foot. You. And Hammy McMillan, the right. Scottish skip and shade. the champions from the Inverness Curling Club, about to throw his last. Scots like and the Americans Slide. have met six Slide. times previously in the semi-final Slide. play at the Worlds, up, yeah. and the Scots have won five of those six. Good. The only time Lines the Americans won was when Lines a Somerville by the name of Bud beat Bill Bill Mirrorhead in 1969. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. And there's the center guard, and now it's up to Tim Somerville to try and get in here. He's facing three and he's already down four nothing. He's got a top of his own. If you're gonna hit it on the nose, you're okay. So flying, playing the tap on his own, he needs to keep, keep, catch a piece of the four. Yes. Yep, yes! Hooray! Hooray! John Gordon is on the left. Miles Hooray! Brundage closest Hooray! to the stone on the right. Hooray! Hooray! Find the hole. Hooray! Oh, the crash in front. And now look at the rub. Will he get it this way? Is this the break of the game for the U.S.? You bet it is. Americans score one. Doesn't matter how you get them. It's 4 1 Scots. There's no law that says you have to help out. To work up a callus or a blister from lending a helping hand. But to all of you whose nature it is to chip in, not for gratitude or glory, but just for a good, warm feeling inside. We'd like you to know we build every Ford truck to share the load till the work is done. Ford, for now, forever. Your car is a high precision instrument. Take it to AutoPro. With qualified personnel and state-of-the-art equipment, it's the expert on brakes, front wheel drive, steering, suspension, and mufflers. All protected by AutoPro's national warranty. AutoPro, the largest network of car care professionals. Centuries ago, the humble potato was praised for its nutrition and worshipped for its delicious taste. Discover the new golden standard that's making modern history. Introducing McCain Home Fries. All the deep fried flavor of your favorite fry. Crispy outside, moist but... Driving on Canadian roads, you can encounter just about anything. You need a tire you can trust. The Firestone FT70C Grip Tire. A revolutionary all-season tire with superior wet traction. Firestone. Performance you can trust.
Golfers, want to save big on name brand golf equipment? Then get to Pro Golf Discounts Bombastic Balloon Sale, where each balloon contains a coupon for up to 100% off name brand golf equipment. Save 10, 20, up to 100% inside every balloon during Pro Golf's Bombastic Balloon Sale this week only. And remember, only Pro Golf guarantees the best price on the same equipment or it's free. That's why Pro Golf Discount is Canada's favorite golf store. See the location nearest you. Let's take a look at the numbers after five, brought to you by Nokia. That was a great comeback by Canada to get to that end. And you look at the numbers in Canada leading in it, 82% to 79%. But remember that Patrick Hurleman is curling up a storm for Switzerland, and it is his third that is really bringing the numbers down. He's going to have to pick it up. The two skips are pretty even. Jeff Stoughton, 86%. Patrick Hurleman, 85%. But remember, Patrick had that one draw that went through yep. the rings that was after a wonderful double that got his team out of trouble. So on the big shots, he's curling very well. Well, he's played fantastic. He's made, he made that great double to uh, well, get himself okay. out of a situation where he looked like he was going to give up a deuce. And in, in our conversation, uh, oh, Linda, I yes. said it was uh, in 96, it was Hammy. Oh, yeah, yeah. In actual fact, it was Warwick Smith that yeah, yeah. Uh, skipped that team. But uh, in 96, so it's... <coughs> And Warwick was with there with a different team than, than uh, they have now. Yeah, At the beginning of this year, actually, Warwick was skipping this ah. team as well. What? And Hammy was playing third, but they switched it around, uh, turned it around around Christmas, and uh, obviously it's worked pretty well on their way to a final of the World Championship. I think Vic, I started the season with a mistake, so oh. I thought it was only appropriate <laughs> that I end with one. <laughs> Martin Jerome. You remember that? Oh, yeah. Game <laughs> one against game 102. Yeah. We keep reminding him. Part of it. That was kind of an interesting call. I would have thought that he would have, with the advantage of Last Rock, made a move. I'm wondering if it is knowing that his third is struggling. I mm, can't say for right. sure, but uh, maybe he's not wanting to make the big move at that position. Jonathan Mead as we do play third Close stones again. here in the sixth, 3-2 yep. Canada. This is the straighter of the two ah. turns, and you want to try and get okay. this buried, otherwise you're allowed to switch them to play the hit and roll. There's a look at Patrick's very good numbers at 85%, and it is Dominic that is struggling at 55. And there's the comparison with Jonathan Mead, the 20 percentage point edge at the third position. Yeah. Chance for a little hit and roll here. Help your skipper out. Aaron and Roman roll up behind the corner. And he does. That was the danger of Jeff playing that way. Come out the other side a bit, though. Play bumper. Yeah, it hey. looks like it did. I think he wanted to make sure he got the roll because if it comes out this side, it's hard for Canada to be in a position with this shooter. It's a tough one for Switzerland. They've got yep, yep. two front rocks they can still use. All right. Armstrong Vandenberg. Oh. Big rush to get it by the guard. Oh. Well clear now and called off. What? Oh. oh, very nice. To sit right there, T line, edge of the eight. Well, you could just ignore this as far as uh, removing it goes, though. You could just play down to it. 
Linda suggests you could come down in this area here and try and draw it in, into here. I'm just going to try and hit it and get the little roll. The roll's tough because it's so straight down there. Okay. And the Swiss stone will just hang on the edge. Yeah. Oh. Whatever. Try and stick anyway. We threw one. Uh, maybe the front good. guard yeah. is definitely splittable for Switzerland, Up. so Jeff needs to roll in. Well, then is suggesting that if uh, Jeff happened to roll out on this shot when he hits this shot, then Switzerland could play the uh, split on this shot, trying to push them one into the rings. Come either way. Yep. Put a few arrows. <laughs> Stoughton in his first as we play Skip Stones in the sixth. Come on. Good. What? Throw. <laughs> well, the weather cleared up. It was beautiful at Augusta. And coming up, following our coverage of the semifinals here in St. John, highlights from the second day of the Masters. Heather's going to draw first. He's going to play the come around. You know, they were over here looking at this stone. I would have been absolutely shocked if they'd played it. Uh, and they're, they're going to try to come around this. It, this is one of those two-on-one situations where if you can make a good shot into this area here, uh, you can really put the pressure on uh, Jeff Stoughton from Canada. Because it swings so much, though, would you, is the, I mean, we know it'll go here, but will not the other turn go too, and you don't have to worry about so much swing? The other turn runs pretty straight. Just it won't go. If you wanted to draw somewhere else, you could draw around the corner guard still playing this swingy turn. It would be very difficult to play the straighter side. Yeah. Or you can play the split, as I said. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Darren and Romain. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's a big brush hurry. now for them to get it by. There it is. What a draw that is by Herleman in Switzerland. He'll nibble top four. Great shot. Jeff kind of gave him that opportunity when he Played the uh, out turn around that guard. I thought he would have gone that way himself. Quite pushed. He's been What's doing it? it by himself. However, yeah, here. One last, sir. He won the Olympic gold, so he's for real. There's no question about that. And think back, he was the. Runner-up in 89 to Pat Ryan at the Worlds in Milwaukee. He also won a bronze medal in 96 in Hamilton. When Stoughton won his first world championship. Going for two here in St. John. Whoa! Run it back, jammed it. Had to brush it all the way. Yeah, that's one of those few errors we ever see from this team. Jonathan Mead not getting on the brushing. Curl. Good throw, Jeff. Good throw. Big long? Yep. Good put. Even now, when he's just trying to hit the paint, he'll go with the same turn because he knows it. 
Well, you remember he, he threw an, an outturn down uh, there earlier and he threw it through. And he's made about three draws with this, uh, big clutch draws with this intern. One against three, if you remember. In the second end, he was drawing against three, I think. So he feels comfortable with the weight uh, on this curling turn. It swoops out there like it's fallen off the Alps. Two for Switzerland here in the sixth. And a 4-3 lead. Well, hello there and welcome back to TSN tonight. I'm Lisa Bose. The Toronto Raptors are aiming for their first ever playoff appearance. They're in New Jersey tonight trying to reverse their fortunes from this week. They've lost their last two and coming in, the Raps are tied with the 76ers for seventh in the Eastern Conference. There's George Steinbrenner making the trip across the Hudson to take in this one after his Yankees completely manhandled the Tigers 12-3. And there is Keith Van Horn finishing off a nice alley-oop. But the Raptors hang in courtesy of the rookie Vince Carter, Hoop and Harm. And then on the break, D. Brown will spot Carter. Reverse jam is nice. Carter with 20 in the half, but right now, as you see, the Raptors trail the Nets in the third quarter. The Grizzlies play host to the Sonics. That is later tonight in baseball. Mets uh, lead the Expos right now, 7-3, top of the six. Mike Piazza, home run. Vladimir Guerrero also with a home run. We are back to St. John right after this short timeout. The war was over. The Allies victorious. It was kind of picking up the pieces again. Jan and Hilda Pranger had a dream. A dream of opportunity for their children and a new life in a land of freedom. They found it in a place called Canada. Today, their son Nick is focused on the same vision. With the CIBC Small Business Job Creation Loan Fund, he is helping many small businesses liberate their dreams. Makes me feel like I've contributed. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, seeing beyond. Just how absorbent are Scott towels? Check out how they perform against the leading brand of paper towels. Mm -hmm. Hey, accidents happen. Fortunately, Thirsty Scott towels are over 20% more absorbent than the leading brand, and they're reliably strong, meaning they can soak up practically everything but the... <clears throat> well, you know. Scott towels. Always thirsty for more. McCain brings you the freshest tasting frozen pizza ever made. McCain Pizza Premiere in the unique vacuum-packed flavor lock package that seals air out so it stays fresher tasting longer. It cooks in just half the time and has a tender no-mess rim. So whenever you're ready for pizza, McCain Pizza Premiere is ready for you in fresh tasting deli lovers, pepperoni, and deluxe. McCain Pizza Premiere. We've got a lock on fresh taste. here at Harbor Station to force the St. John Flames on the road, but they'll be back next week. They'll play their provincial rivals, the Fredericton Canadians, here at Harbor Station as we go to Scotland, U.S. 4-1. And it's the Scots with the hammer here in the seventh final stone for the U.S. and Tim yeah. Somerville. He's trying a multiple tap. And spill it in, and he's lying shot. The Americans are lying one without. But second, third, and fourth stones are scotch. And you know what Hemi's looking at here? Run it back for a possible four. Not much off the nose, really. Okay. Touch on the outside. I think this one will come flying. He likes to play the up weight, take very little ice. You don't want me, I mean. Right. Seven eighths. Warwick, seven eighths. <laughs> Scott's leading four to one. A nice clean throw, seven eighths. Maybe sweep it back a bit. Yep. If there's a if there's a problem with the way 
Hammy plays, it might be he just always throws the very big weight and whether he can hold the shooter on sh stones like this. Do you agree? No, but in this case, you just want to make sure you get rid of the yellow and he feels he knows the line with the big weight. Final stone here in seven. Whoa! Yeah! Hard! Whoa! 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 Seven eights. Whoa! Seven eights. Four two. Could have been worse for the U.S. They didn't catch the angle perfectly and looked like maybe three, but it spilled out, so it's two for and Scotland. And he knows it. Hammy McMillan could have had more, three, possibly four, and it's a 6-1 lead as we go to the seventh. And Switzerland is up by 1-4-3. Canada with the hammer. Well, in our game, Dougie Armstrong was playing a come around uh, on a uh, with an outturn come around and the swing turn, and he chipped on the front rock. And that's how the two yellows got there. The first to rock at the end, of course, is the rock in the eight foot. Canada threw up the corner, then they put a rock in front. That's the one that's being tapped up right now, or being just frozen to. <laughs> Doug missed the uh, the come around with his outturn draw. Canadians quite aren't, aren't quite as sharp as we've seen them, Linda. Just a little bit of an inch here or there in some shots. They just haven't been perfect as they have been through the Labatt Briar and up to this point in round robin play. Gary Vandenberg trying to open things up. Good. Good. Sorry, Gary. Martin Romain trying to close it off. Cleanup shots for the Canadian trying to move things off the front. Okay. Private back gets yeah, one, man. gets two. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say to you, we haven't seen the Canadians in a position of playing catch up a lot this week, and that's what they seem to be doing a lot in this game. They're good at it, though. You don't want to leave them too many oh, angles because Jeff Stoughton will make a lot of them. for Canada. Patrick wanted that stone around the corner of the guard and not leave Jeff Stoughton this run back. Well, they've had a lot of chances these shots. These are shots that they make uh, routinely. And uh, I suggest they have to start making them pretty soon. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's a wonderful shot, but Jonathan's not happy because the rock rolled into the open. Just a fraction off on that front one, as I said, and there it's not a straight back. It rolls a little bit open. Still a wonderful shot. 
But they're not happy, as you say, with it. Even Jonathan was not happy with it. Dominic Andres, who has struggled, oh, has yeah. a chance oh, yeah. to make yeah. a big shot here for his skip yeah. in Switzerland. Hurry! Come on, go away, go away! Yeah. And lucky to get a corner. Good brushing, just held it. Canada's got to start taking advantage of some of these misses, Linda, that they're getting out of the Swiss third. It's, uh, you got to start uh, making some good shots to get yourself in position to pick up a couple. Maybe three. Here's a good chance right here. I know what they want to do, just struggling a little bit with the ice here, Team Canada. They want to play the raise, and they're going to play it with the straight turn. Hip! Whoa! Hip! Play good! Whoa! Whoa! Hip! Play really Whoa. good! Whoa! 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 And the tap back will sit back edge of the button. Canada with the hammer in seven and line one. It's open, Icky. Just gets through. Yeah. Probably when I have a pass, the Calder can another one score. So, what's the camera? Yeah, that's off. Yeah, okay. Let's go, Skipper. He's really good shot, no kind. Yeah. He can make a shot every match. Huh? Patrick's having one of those days where he can see, he's seeing everything, he's seeing the seams on the ball, they say, as the hitters say about the pitcher pitching that particular day. He sees the raise, the tap back, he's, uh, he's made some great shots, and he's, <coughs> he's going to play the, the tap back raise. <laughs> Das wäre natürlich auch gut. Direkt. So, direkt. Ja. Das Können wir auch, ja? Hä? Is he saying the player come around the yeah, Dominic is suggesting that that's what you could do is play so. the straight draw. The objective now is for Canada to only score one if you're Switzerland. And so they're trying to decide the best way to close down this house. Patrick will come back down the ice to talk about it. The one danger, Ray, when you're playing so well is sometimes you play a shot that's maybe not the one that has the best odds. That's the only thing. When yeah, but it could work the other way too, Linda. That sometimes you're playing so well, even though maybe you're not playing a percentage, you just make them all. It works, yeah. I'm always hesitant to uh, change the mind of my skip uh, when he's been playing so well, you know, even though it, uh, there may be an alternate choice as there was in this case. So he's decided to play the. Uh, the wide in turn draw to try and get to the top of the four foot to shut the end out of it. Okay. Linda, if I understood him correctly, he also might do just do this in steps. If we can get it to top eight, we'll use it and bump it up later. We don't necessarily have to be there and frozen to the face, but we'll just get it in a position. It's a setup shot, knowing that Canada has raises on the other side of the house, so he wants this one to be able to be pushed up later. Aaron and Romain. Oh, oh, nice draw. He certainly had to wait for the the, cur the curling turn. And overhook it. That one was actually deeper than Patrick yeah. wanted, just because it does left, leave uh, Jeff a chance to come down near it and be still near the forefoot as well. 
This wide intern doesn't swoop uh, quite as much, but it, uh, it'll come. You can see the ice. And Patrick got there with dead draw weight. I'm, I'm wondering if it'll, as Jeff uh, steps up the weight a little bit, I wonder if it'll curl quite that much. Stoughton in his first. 4-3, Switzerland leading in this men's Easy. semifinal of the four rules. No line. Room, room, room. No line. Hands room. Where are we? It's there. Where is this? We goal? took John. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, whoa. This is plan B whoa. if they can get the rub. Go, 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 go. Well called. Far enough. That was very fortunate to get even that out of it. <laughs> he had a lot of ice for that tap back weight. I, I still think, and maybe oh, I'm wrong, but I still think he's reading Patrick's rocks when you can't. Good. Patrick Look throws good. that much differently than Jeff. The weight was just back eight, eh? Yeah. This is a huge oh, break to get is, a tick. That is a huge break. Goodness gracious, it almost got to be shot rock. Look at the it's angle that's set up on the red yeah. stone. So any one of those I mean, yellow ones raised back and remove that red shot. The, uh, uh, I mean, it's there, but. Okay. Hmm? No. It's my to miss. No. Between the two yellows to try and take both raises away. I mean, not all good, but it's long. Hmm. This is a tough guard. Wir müssen das probieren, ja? Ja, ja, das ist gut so. Der wichtige Stein, hey. alles ja. ist wichtig, hey? ja? Ja. Weil der in der Mitte. Wir können lieber, lieber am Ausserjahr am Bücken überwickeln, weil der in der Mitte, der ist wirklich, ein, der, ist, der ist ganz einfach, da wirst du jetzt genau gleich ja. spielen. Okay. Das ist verständlich eine Spezialität, hey? Okay. Okay. Ah, there's the respect. He it's says, his I, it's his specialty, these <laughs> run back shots. So, das ist gut, hey? Gut so, ja. Took away the center, maybe, as he got the Sorry. one covering the edge of the forefoot. This is whoa, Scotland whoa. and the U.S. and wow. Amy McMillan's last as it's a wide open end and a chance now for the U.S. to blank here in eight. And it's quickly. Just there. There's that one too. Tim Somerville. Yeah. A lot more risk on this one. I mean, you know, the other thing that might be there, Jeff, might be... And it won't go, it'll yeah. sit in the 12 foot. Zag bounce it out though. US will score one, and they're down by four. The Scots have the hammer in nine. Let's play bumper. We got six minutes on him, so. What's that? Whatever you like, whatever you like throwing. Oh, I think we try bumper. Okay, on this. The other thing is, this looks like it's good. This into this. straight back though it might it's not gonna hit this any good I think it's gonna hit it over the I don't well, know. it's back behind what? this a bit if you like What's bumper up? let's play bumper on that one just got a hair of the guard though yeah if we play the center one we can't play regular weight we have to no, play a little less unless yeah. you think this is hairy just hammer the outside of this one the only thing is this might pop Think it will go back? I think it goes more that well, I mean, way. We, we still have that one. I mean, that's yeah. That, that one you can give up. Risk. I know. Yeah. I don't know if I can hit it thin enough to get it some weight, though. Eh? The easiest shot to oh, hit yeah. is the yellow one closest to us now, but it I'd also is the most up. dangerous. Some that we know. We're looking to see if they can hit the outside of the red guard onto uh, the yellow and spill the I don't yellow know, one but forward. I think that's going to come off at too much of an angle. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's quite bumper. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, you're right. You, they talked about the uh, outside one, and you heard Linda say, and, and Jeff say too, or Jonathan say too. You play this one, no, you know, we, we don't hit it right. Bump. We could give up one. They're, remember, that Canada is lying one right now. So they're going to play the, the center one. They were looking at it, hitting this one onto this one, which would come off the back of this one and then go forward. But they're just not too sure. So they're going to play this stone here straight back with bumper weight. Try and drive it on to the, uh, their own yellow, yellow onto yellow onto red. And think back to how that yellow stone they're about to touch in the house got there. That was the tick, the big break the Canada got. Patrick Hurleman saying he wanted whoa. to take away yeah. these raises because they were whoa. 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 Jeff Stoughton's whoa. specialty. Yeah. Armstrong, Vandenberg, me calling it on. That's oh. specialty. Oh. Wonderful shot. That's all you can say. He did the best he could. He knew he left him an opening. And the Canadians made the Swiss pay. It is a fantastic yeah. shot, but you pointed out the, 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 the way that the yellow stone yeah. in the house got there was a tick and a rub and a roll. When you're hot, you're hot. But you got to make the biggest when you have a chance. You got the break early and make the raise, and that's three points. What a key, huge shot. For Stoughton and Canada, they're up 6 4. The Swiss will try and come back in eight. What do these kids think of McCain Pizza Pockets? What do you watch? What do you like? These things. I'm talking to you here. Get up. You know what's wrong with these things? Commercials. Why do they have to run such stupid commercials? A lot of geniuses work in there. And that box they come in. McCain Pockets. Old commercial gone, old box gone. Big pizza taste. Healthy? Nobody had a problem with that. and win is back at Petro Canada. That one there, honey. Every time you use your Petro Points card, you could win one of three trips anywhere in the world Air Canada flies. That one there, honey. And when you get home, a new Nissan Pathfinder will be waiting for you. Pump and win, only at Petro Canada. Canada's gas station. Hey, how you doing? You doing all right? Let you know that we missed you. And it's been a long time since we've heard the roar of the crowd. It's a pleasure for us to be back. <laughs> Jump off! Oh. Oh. Nice seeing y'all out here and see y'all doing the season. Hey, Canada, let's play.
A couple of key shots are the highlights of the seventh brought to you by Karsher. But we really have to show you the first shot for Jeff Stoughton because he gets a huge break on this. It looks like he throws it all right, but maybe too much ice. At this point, it looks like disaster because Canada has shot rock, but Switzerland has second shot, and Switzerland's closing down the house. Look at the angle of this yellow one once it ticks over and where it sits next to the red, and this is the only reason Jeff can make his second shot. Well, you're absolutely right that as far as I'm concerned, Jeff just had too much uh, ice for that particular shot because that is the straighter of the two turns. But once he got the perfect break and, and Patrick wasn't able to close it off, he makes a sensational shot by raising it right back with bumper weight and picking up three. Great shot, no question about it. Six to four, Canada leading as we go to eight. Canada comes in with their first, biting the top four. Corner goes up from the Swiss, and this is the second stone for the Canadian lead, Doug Armstrong. It was a wonderful touch on his second one because they knew they had to play that quiet weight. So we've seen big weight shots from Jeff, and there was a lovely quieter takeout. Top 12 foot they're looking for here. Uh oh. Huh? <laughs> 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 These player comparisons brought to you by Ford. Well, Doug Armstrong came in as the top lead and he's shooting 88%, but look at those numbers. Diego Perron at 98%. So it's not been at the lead position that Switzerland has suffered. Right. And Gary Vandenberg came in as the top second, and he's being outplayed a little bit by Martin Romain, 84% to 79%. So Switzerland yep. still with the advantage at second. This is what? a good call by Jeff. Yeah. Nice toss. Okay. Well, I think Gary and, and Doug would both tell you that they haven't been quite as sharp as they, they should be or have, you know, have been in the past. And, and it's just, we're talking about, I mean, you're talking about 88% and 84% or something, so it's really hard to be kind of critical. Uh, you know, the Swiss lead is just going sensational. And, you know, their weak spot is being in the third hole. And that shot of just out, and so the scorekeepers gave him a six. <laughs> they scored him six on that, so... And most points are counted out of four, but you are allowed bonus points. We rarely see sixes. We often see fives, but I'd give them a six, too. But how would you have scored the first one? Yeah, that would be tough. <laughs> you find a guard, that wouldn't it? <laughs> it really brought the house to, to their feet, boy, all 5,477 of them. This email brought to you by Labatt from Alliston, Ontario. To all of us, since this is your last show, what are your favorite moments of the past season? Well, was that a tough question? There's been so many great games we, that we've seen. Well, you, know, you can go right back, uh, Tanya. To, it's been an unbelievable season for us. Uh, <laughs> let's think about, let's remember the last two shots in the men's skins when uh, Madaw made a great shot. Kevin Martin won an angle raise a little better. I mean, how can you forget Guy Hemming's shot? You can't ever forget it. I can tell you, just personally speaking, that this year's Briar was one of the, the most entertaining and fun Briars I've been to in a long time. And what made it so was just not all the, the curling, but yeah. all the guys there. I, I had a wonderful time at the Briar this year and Thank enjoyed you, every minute of it. They were just okay. terrific people. Those are my memories of this year. Absolutely, and uh, not many people will ever forget this draw for Guy oh, Hemmings in Quebec oh, against the big man Saskatchewan and Mr. Shimko he had that much they thought they overbrushed it and there it was to put himself into the prior final Guy Hemmings truly a memorable moment for all of us 15,000 people on their on their uh, feet cheering and screaming for a guy that they like anyway. Never mind making shots like that. Jonathan Mead. 
I think to sort of sum it up, we just love to share the joy of all those great shots with the players that played them. It's so fun to play this game, and there's nothing better, no better feeling than to make a big shot in a big game. When the lights went out. <laughs> That's your memorable moment? Saskatoon, yeah. <laughs> well, you caused it, didn't you? Yes, you wrapping did. on that power supply. CIVC, it was, it's been a remarkable yeah. season. Yeah. It was a fun tournament. I, I had my son Reggie there, and uh, yeah. we went on the air at 2 o'clock, and I turned around Whoa. about one and about uh, went on Whoa. the air at twelve. I turned around at one o'clock. He was working behind the bar. <laughs> Seven oh, years he, old. Making tips. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I think ripping the center is not a bad point. That last shot was just one of many, unfortunately, that Dominic has had. He has not played well. He'd be the first to admit it. You know when you're not playing well yourself. Jonathan Mead has given him a few openings. Seventy-nine percent. Yep. We've seen higher numbers from Jonathan as well. But it's just a huge difference at the third position. Hey, John, good. Boy. Bro, back, boys. It's been a year of uh, Linda oh, Vick of a lot go. of extra, extra ends. Yes. <laughs> there yes. have been a few. Swiss now looking to blank and take the hammer into nine and try and get something there. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Things just haven't worked whoa, for whoa, them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! It was such a huge boost when Canada got that three. There's been a momentum swing, and this will maybe cool it off a little bit. Yeah. Sorry? Well, we've done a lot of curling as uh, Jeff gets ready to play this wide open hit uh, this year, and the people that make it uh, easy for us or make it possible, I guess is what I should say, are, are the sponsors behind all these. And for the season of champions, you can't Star Choice, Ford, Labatt's, Karcher, CIBC, and Scott Wait. Paper. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Come the back. season of whoa. champions. We go to JVC and McCain, yeah. Archer, Skyreach. Oh, okay. Husky. guard the S yes for Patrick Perlman wasn't Switzerland it was Superman for a while there you really can't win this game by yourself I said I thought he'd have to play well but he does need a couple of shots in nine if he wants to get his two Still lots of chances with the free guard zone rule to get two. The gold medal game goes on Sunday at 2.30 Eastern time, or 2.30 local time, pardon me. And the bronze medal game will go at 9 a.m. here in St. John. Tomorrow it's the women's final featuring the United States against Sweden. Patty Lang from Madison against the reigning and three-time world champion, Elizabeth Gustafsson. Clean. Oh, go easy. Yep, yep. Just a last statement about that is about Good. the sponsors as they Good. make it all possible and our viewers Good. and all the curlers can Go. thank them by supporting their products. It's been a wonderful performance by both skips. Patrick Perlman had one missed draw that I can remember in the guard that didn't quite work. That's why his draw percentage is down a little bit. The numbers in brackets are the numbers of shots they play in each category. So <coughs> stark, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's not so good. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. 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 Back. Oh. And that may be the killer. That's Bruce. That's Bruce. That's Bruce. 
Carson Bruce is a high clue for Emily. Carson Bruce. He says he knew. He knew. But did fall from Stay. No enough. Canada gets a gift. They're up 7 4. Citizenship. Canadian. Proof. Roll up the rim to win. Thank you, sir. Drive through. Yes, it's time to roll up the rim to win. Like these winners of the GMC Jimmy 4x4s. And there's still millions of prizes to be won, including thousands of Panasonic TVs at Tim Hortons. Proof. R r rim up the roll to win. Pull over there, sir. No, wait, wait, r r rolling winning roll. These hands have worked, created, played, and loved, each in their own unique way. At Nokia, we've discovered that technology can be inspired with a human touch, which is why for every hand, there's a Nokia. Nokia, connecting people. Elvis Stoiko gives his all. No holds barred. Nothing held back. Just full out with everything he's got. Like McCain Frozen Punch goes full out with thirst quenching flavors like grape, orange, and fruit punch. McCain Frozen Punch delivers the real fruit taste of real fruit juice every time for champions like Elvis. When you want it all, go for the real taste of McCain Frozen Punch. McCain, full out taste every time. that's right for you and pay as low as $89.99 at Speedy. Speedy takes the worry out of break repair. In racing or on the road, top quality replacement parts are a must, which is why I recommend the full range of UAP Napa parts. UAP Napa, the right brand for the job. topic of discussion during the uh, break, why he threw it like this. Well, he just took too much ice. You watch the rock, it does not move. If you watch the semi-final this afternoon, Patty Lang threw one in that spot, it did not move. It's just that piece of ice. Yeah. And, and you really got to feel badly for uh, Patrick because he has played so sensational. He, he himself, he's put on a wonderful display and uh, you hate, you know, I mean, we're obviously uh, partial to the Canadian team. Uh, we've been with them all year and uh, and we're Canadians, so. <laughs> but I mean, you just hate, he's played so spectacular, I, I hate to see him miss a shot like that. Scotland with a 6-3 lead over the Americans as they play in 10. And we'll update you on that game. They're playing second stones presently as the U.S. tries to get back into it. Switzerland with the hammer in nine, they go in. Guard goes up, and the second stone from Doug Armstrong goes through. Well, two points is something you don't have too much trouble getting. You have the free guard zone stone. You can get in behind it. You make a few good shots. You can score two in this game. That other point, the third point that Canada now has ahead of Switzerland is a huge one. They don't have to take any chances, Canada. They can just wait until they can peel and just keep cleaning up the house. And that's exactly what they'll do. Wow. Wow. I won't be seeing any more angle freezes. That much I can tell you. The angle freezes are over. <laughs> Gary Vandenberg. Pearl. 
Right nice throw, Gary. It's a nice throw. <laughs> Martin Romain. Would have played a straight peel, there would be a chance pulling it this way. You could get a, a bonus on the way by. You don't want to make a mistake here, though, either. Or drive it back wrong. Good. And by the stone <laughs> sitting top four. He didn't, he didn't give you a chance. No more. Scotland is leading the United States 6-3 as they play in 10 and Scotland has the hammer. The Americans are lying two. They need to uh, steal three to tie. Ready to uh, play skip stones and the first from the U.S. and Tim Somerville. Well, I'm sure you can imagine that Scotland's playing a lot of peels this end, and I got the stopwatch on a couple. I had trouble hitting the button fast enough. The work Smith threw one about five seconds, and peels are often around seven seconds, so it was moving. So was that one. Oh, it off the pace. Jonathan Mead has another specialty. What is that? They can taste it to Canada. The game's going just the way they want it now. Well, the, the shot for three gave uh, them a huge lift, and then the wide open miss that was just as you have already mentioned into that third point. It's the it's peel. Just... It's for Scotland, their shot for three came in the third, and it really seemed to give them a boost. They still won the next end, and have had the luxury since then of really coasting with that lead. That draw, when everyone came out, dragged it. For the three and the third after the opening two blanks. And then the steal of the one when the Americans tried the raised double and missed, and it was a lousy outside fighter that gave them a 4 0 lead. Harry McMillan, if he can run it back and kill something in the house. He played the straight peel all the way, that just get it off of there. Tim has to come to the rings now. He needs to make them all count. Tim Somerville. Jonathan Mead with another pick of a stone. As Canada continues to lie one on the lid. Miles Brundage is on the right, and it's John Gordon, the front end for this U.S. championship team. Yep. Paul, are you here? Okay. That's a beauty, Tim. That's the best he could do. And now, Hammy McMillan will try to end it here. In ten. McMillan in 
his fifth world championship a runner up in 86 92 won a bronze in 97 in Bern, and now with this we'll have a chance again to go for the top prize Is through to the final. It's a 6 4 win for Scotland. One game away, boys. One game away. 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 Hammy McMillan, Warwick Smith, Ewan McDonald, and Peter Loudon of the Inverness Fossil. Curling Club await the winner of Switzerland and Canada. Going to come around on the corner guard, Switzerland needing to get one in. For second shot, and then hoping they can get out shot rock on their last stone. And too much, and out the back. Huh? pushed? Huh? Oh, uh, if we go yeah, up short, it's going yeah. yeah. As long as we're covering it. Oh. Yeah. Well, if we put a good guard on, you're good. Let's go Let's draw the side of it, I guess. And the crowd here at the Harbor Station can sense but the Canadian like like win well, is so close at hand. So blue. The three are just so blue on that hard, huh? Just shy of 5,300. Yeah, we got it to the center line. A little less. That's a line, Jeff. Oh, oh easy, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just cleaning. Where are we? Not bad. Top eight. Line's very good. Just top eight. Yep, yep, yep! Hard! Hard, hard, Trying to freeze them now. And right down on top. Kennedy is lying free. Shot. We're going to get right closed. You go back to that shot he made uh, down there when we, we, we talked about, we showed the, you know, the ice he took for the, when he got the lucky wick. He took a foot and a half less ice that time and uh, threw the draw away, granted, but uh, he got to the, the top of the button. And it will be the button that Patrick Herlinman needs to find on this outturn draw. Okay, see us up. Now, That's what he needs. He needs to catch a piece of the Ford. Needs a piece yeah. of the button. Come on. What, Needs a what, piece what, of the button. What a wow. good shot. Wow. And they'll play on. The Swiss are down by two. Canada will have the hammer coming home. Triumph of spirit, the war was over.
On the one hand, there was joy and euphoria from it having ended. On the other hand, it was kind of picking up the pieces again and all the difficulties associated with that. Jan and Hilda Pranger had a dream, a dream of opportunity for their children and perhaps owning a small business in the land of freedom. They found it in a place called Canada. And one of the reasons they came over here was because Canada needed people to work. He bought this company, I think, for 3,500 bucks, and there wasn't much to it other than a truck. Today, their son Nick is focused on the same vision as a CIBC general manager of small business. The greatest pleasure is just from seeing clients succeed in business. With the $100 million small business job creation loan fund, he's helping many small business owners liberate their dreams. It makes me feel like I've contributed. Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, seeing beyond. Whenever you need a helping hand, remember, help is just around the corner at your True Value Hardware with specials like from Moen, the single handled chrome faucets for your kitchen or bathroom, $69.97 each. You'll find value on a complete lineup of national manufacturing hardware and fasteners to get the job done right. True Value, official hardware supplier to Championship Curling. It started with a pair of boots. Kodiak boots, actually. And it just grew from there. It grew from boots to shoes. From shoes to clothing. Everything to dress you up or dress you down. Oops, not that far down. You could say that wearing Kodiaks has taken on a whole new meaning. I don't like my car pulling to the left, pulling to the right, and I hate that shimmying thing. My car starts shaking, it's time for Midas. For $44.95, you can get a honkin' boutonniere or a Midas alignment special. $44.95, can't beat that. These things will knock your car out in a hurry. Introducing new Midas Gold Shocks and Struts. Now 50% off your second one. My customers expect my car to be safe with a nice fresh scent. Midas, car care the way it should be. Somebody should fix these things. Welcome back to Harbour Station. Scotland is into the final. Who will they play? Canada has the lead 7-5 as we go to 10. And the first stone from the Swiss lead is a center guard. But on that scoreboard we just looked at, it was that steal in eight when Patrick Herleman had the open miss. That's really cost him. If you get within one and you can get some front stones up, you never know what can happen. Possibilities of steals are there, but now with a two-point lead, Canada's going to be very tough to catch. Playing the tick. Hey, Doug. Try, Doug. They made it today. And the rock comes back. Great numbers. I'm gonna bring this one right in. Thought they might put it out in front. Yeah, I did too. I thought he, I, I, I throw it back into the big guard zone uh, area. It can't be removed from play. So the fifth end of the fifth rock of the end. Come on! Come on! Perlman now out to join Romang and Andres. Don't say in there! Coming up, highlights of the second round of the Masters from Augusta. Immediately following our coverage of this men's semifinal yep. of the Ford Worlds. What a great yeah, shot. Doug. Good shot, Doug. I guess that's why Patrick did that, because if that's Canada good. went after it and shot, removed Doug. that guard, it would come back, and then he could continue to protect. <laughs> but Doug didn't make the mistake. He got the tick. It was one or the other, and he got the front one over a little bit. No <coughs> trooper, huh? This is good, though. Oh, 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 oh,
Ja, 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 Gary Vandenberg trying Clean. to open up the front. Clean. Good. Strong, Gary. Come on, Ale. Big side squat. That's good. That's more. Nee. Big hip to go, yeah. On training. Linda Ray, do shots stay with you? Do they hunt? Oh, goodness. They caught something and just stopped. Absolutely died. Absolutely. It goes bad, it goes bad. How much are you haunted by mistakes? I think that Hurleman, considering the way he played, probably thought he had a chance tonight. How much will that miss in, in eight, that flash? Stay with him. Well, it obviously haunts you, but I mean, I mean he, he thought he had a chance to win, and he, and he showed us that he did have a chance to win. I mean, he played, they played terrific. He, in particular, played terrific. He was in this game, and you could also, through the fifth, sixth, and seventh end, you could find, feel a little tension from the Canadian team. And then uh, with that uh, sensational shot, first of all, a little bit of a fortunate break or a very, a, a really good break. <laughs> I want to be honest about the damn thing. I mean, it was a terrific break uh, when they ticked the outside, went to the front, and then a great shot, followed it up. Now, let's just remember, too, that this is their third game. They played uh, three yesterday, plus the tiebreaker. They're bright and early this morning. They've had some time off. You think, in fact, that fatigue is a factor? Are they getting a little tired? My first suggestion is no, although I think the pressure has added to the mental fatigue. I don't think physically it would be as difficult because you get to the playoffs, you are just so fired up. This is my opinion now. I think maybe a little bit of a slip in. We don't like pointing fingers. I always say that. But the third for Switzerland has had a poor game and maybe the strain of the pressure has bothered him a little bit. They knew they were going to have a tough time, Switzerland, coming out against this Canadian team. We're looking at a game where we have eight and one Canada against five and four Switzerland. That's before Switzerland made it into those tiebreakers and won two more. So they knew they would have a struggle. Whoa, 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 clean. Good. Good. And they're a little tired, and and uh, the European teams don't do not play as many games as the, the Canadian teams. <laughs> uh, Dougie wasn't sure, but I talked to him about it. He says they're, you know, they're into one game 135 or 134 or something. That's oh, a lot of curling. Up. A lot of uh, competitive curling, a lot of uh, tension, a lot of, you, know, you get yourself playing for a lot of money all year long, and they had a great uh, run on the tour, Easy. World Curling Tour. Whoa, 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 whoa. And so they just may be, you may be right, they just may be tired. Just, Canadians just may be tired as well, but uh, I think that the Swiss maybe when you don't do as, uh, as much curling, it maybe catches you a little sooner. Yep. Jonathan Mead. Hi. Fatigue comes to mind, that's for Good. sure. Got Switzerland with two stones remaining, they trail by two, have right to on. make them both count. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Be through. Oh, oh for another. Nice good. Second. And it'll stop. <coughs> Back eight. <laughs> He's made a lot of great intern draws down that path and going the other way as well. But it's the uh, one out turn in eight. And he flashed to give up the steal of one. That was the gift. Just wants the peel here. Not trying to run this back and get a double or anything. Very similar to the other game where all the U.S. could do was put a third stone in the house to try and tie it. If this one peels off, all Switzerland can do is put a second stone in the house and hope for a miss. Well, he's responded. He's brought his game up. Were we in that one? Or? <laughs> Was I? No. No. Never. <laughs> Jeff was a little bit full. Huh? A little bit, that's all. Yeah. Okay, nice foot. Collide <laughs> two, and now you need the wide open miss. <laughs> Sutton in Canada as the crowd responds here at Harbor Station. One stone away from advancing to the final in a showdown with Scotland. He's done all he can. Jeff went down the ice and tightened the broom a little bit. This is a very straight spot. change your world every 5,000 kilometers, right? Uh, uh, uh. You don't, do you? You push it. Now you're so busy, you try to squeeze another 1,000 kilometers out of your oil. Or more. Well, squeeze this. It's to do it yourself when you have the time. Reformulated Quaker State. Protection beyond 5,000 kilometers under any driving conditions. Anybody say insurance? It's been tested. And unlike that lazy uncle nobody really likes to talk about, it works. So go get some. Quaker State. Sensible technology. What more do you need to know? Centuries ago, the humble potato was praised for its nutrition and worshipped for its delicious taste. Discover the new golden standard that's making modern history. Introducing McCain Home Fries. All the deep fried flavor of your favorite fry. Crispy outside, moist potato flavor inside. Crispy McCain Home Fries. They could change history. Taste it and believe it. Have you ever bought a new computer, then had a question about it, and then you asked your spouse and your kid, and it was 7 o'clock, and the computer store was closed, and the guy next door who knows everything about computers was on vacation? Why not get help 24 hours a day? Go to Dell. We've won PC Magazine's award for desktop reliability and service three years in a row. Right now, you can get a Dell Dimension computer powered by an Intel Pentium 3 processor at 450 megahertz. You'll get a 12.9 gig hard drive with enough storage to use neat stuff like digital cameras. Plus, you'll get a 17-inch monitor. 
a 40X Max variable CD-ROM drive. Altec Lansing speakers with subwoofer. It comes preloaded with Microsoft Windows 98 with Work Suite and Money 99. Powered by Intel's new Pentium 3 processor with 3D performance and smoother graphics. Dell Dimension with an Intel Pentium 3 processor at 450 megahertz. Great value at $29.99. To order, go directly to the source. Dell, be direct. In racing or on the road, top quality replacement parts are a must which is why I recommend the full range of UAP NAPA parts. UAP NAPA, the right brand for the job. National Car Rental gets you in your car and on the road fast. And frequent renters can join National's Emerald Club to move even faster. At National Car Rental, green means go. The F1 circuit roars in Brazil, Sunday on TSN. The 1999 Ford World Curling Championships from St. John, New Brunswick are brought to you by the Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. Karcher, quality cleaning equipment. Labatt, good things brewing. And JVC, technically perfect, perfectly simple. So the two rivals will meet on Sunday for the championship, Canada against Scotland, while the U.S. and Switzerland will play for the bronze, and a possible second world championship for Jeff Stoughton, who's with Ray. Well, Jeff, uh, congratulations, yeah. first of all. That was a very tense-filled game. Yeah, it was really tough. Um, you know, we obviously didn't get off to a great start, but the guys uh, hung in there. We made a couple of big key shots early on, and... Uh, you know, we got the break in seven to set up our three, and we took advantage of it. You started off making a great shot in one. You had to draw against three or four. I can't remember. It was a lot. All I know was a lot of stones in there. Yeah, it's not how you exactly want to start. Uh, you know, we were just taking guards and seemed to bump them in a couple times. And, uh, you know, my first one I put deep, which was good, and, and then I just had to draw four foot. And, uh, you know, we've been pretty good with the draw weight, so I wasn't too concerned. A great shot in seven to get your three, and all I can say to you, and Bob Hope said it best of all, thanks for the memories, Jeff, and good luck on Sunday. Well, thank you. It's been great here in TSN. Great job, guys. As Jonathan Mead signs autographs, they're through to the final. Canada will play Scotland, and it was the seventh. When you look back at how prophetic it was that Patrick Hurleman said these are his specialty for three and then the gift of a steal of one and eight and the Canadians couldn't be caught Canada wins it Star Choice Satellite TV. Digital quality picture and sound, new movies and events all the time. Sports, local programming, and you guessed it, curling. Call for your nearest retailer. Star Choice. More than 140 channels. More choice than ever. Introducing the 1999 Ford Windstar. The only minivan to get a five-star safety rating for front and side impact. Too, fellas. You don't go to Canada, do you? Sure do. They all said we'd never get together. Darling, let's take a bow. Oh, what can happen? Out of the
the blue. Who's got the last laugh? No. The bad blue. Ford World Curling Championships from St. John, New Brunswick are brought to you in part by Nova Scotia, Canada's seacoast. Could be the autograph of a world champion. Canada will play for the gold on Sunday. I looked over, they were throwing a lot of rocks in play and having... Uh, it was a struggle, uh, but Jeff Stoughton and you know, the Canadians get by score, Switzerland in this semi on a Friday night here in St. John. Coming up Saturday, the women's gold medal game will feature Sweden against the United States. Patty Lang from Madison, Wisconsin against the reigning and three-time world champion. Elizabeth Gustafsson, Norway and Denmark will play for bronze. Check your local listings both Sundays and Saturdays games will be on CBC coming up next it's the Masters and highlights of the second round now on behalf of Linda Ray and our crew and we'd like to say a special thanks to our crews right across the country for a job well done great effort ladies and gentlemen and we thank you sincerely so for Linda and Ray I'm Vic Rutter thanks for joining us till next year